today's unit dreaming spark is actually part of an amelie proposal so hopefully we get in and we get to see you there and uh the happy music teacher Jeanette shuri and i am going to be co-presenting this piece on kind of unit dreaming in relation to a music classroom so music teachers or leaders who supervise music teachers and support them and coach them this is for you so a little bit different this time so we have done a unit dreaming sequence on like freedom songs and music and justice in that sense in this one we're thinking about like what would literally like a hook lesson look like or a specific micro lesson look like within the larger scope of a unit and then we're kind of planning from there so let's get into it and i'm going to share with you a template that you can use as well this is a little bit the one i'm screen sharing is going to be a little bit of an abbreviated version you're going to get the full in-depth the version. context or the spark for today is really an amelie session proposal that jeanette and i were putting together and so i have highlighted the parts that i think are relevant to brainstorming the unit Really what we wanted to do was have session participants experience creating music in response to a current event. We post a headline or uh, play a short video, a news clip, whatever, around a current event, and people are going to go ahead and play music, whether that's on a body instrument, a table, or a chair. Uh, they could have kazoos or some sort of instrument that you have available in your classroom, but you don't need instruments to do this. Just some sort of creation of music. It could be a humming. And then we're going to go ahead and think about how we build a unit around that that centers justice, social, emotional learning, and civic action. So as we think about this, right, I think the summative assessment for something like this in terms of a project or publishing and format, music teachers already have access to kind of the concerts that they put on. So maybe some sort of concert um, could be cool. They could also produce um, like a, a <laughs> I almost said CD, some sort of like um, Spotify playlist or something that is going to be shared more broadly. So it could be recorded and then shared asynchronously as well. Um, I do think that it would be super cool to be able to publish these in, to a wider audience so that people who are familiar with an injustice, a current event, are also grappling with those emotions of an event that they are able to hear the song and feel some sort of um, kinship, belonging, connection, um, something to the creators of the song and the song does something for those folks at, at large, right? Beyond the school community. So I do think that would be able to be cool. And, and I'm not sure what that would look like. Like this, this like share to the local news or something. Um, I'm not sure what that would look like, but students could come up with that because they're more brilliant than I am. <laughs> and so thinking about a summative assessment driving question, what's the driving question that would frame this entire unit? Um, one of the things that I like to do, and I have this down here, is use a driving question frame when I'm stuck. So it might look like, because often I think this one, for example, what would it look like if centers the project itself? So what are students actually doing? Um, so what would it look like if, you know, we created music to uh, repair harm or to inform about an injustice or to... Um, you know, maybe we even center the social emotional learning piece. So what would it look like if we talked about, hmm, okay, what would it look like if we started or we used music to process um, current events? Or like, maybe it's even more broad than that. Maybe it's what would it look like if we use music to process our emotions? And then current events are just a thing that often bring up a lot of emotions and are relevant to students. So there's kind of the engagement there. And also, you know, creating around a current event is something that's going to help the larger community feel that connection. So maybe it is just like process emotions and the current events are kind of the vehicle or the specific content, right? Oh, I kind of like that. Okay. All right, very cool. So when we think about the pursuits, I think about identity and the various types of like identity-based um, injustice. I'm gonna make this not bold here. Um, so this could be race, gender identity, sexual orientation, disability, um, linguistic justice or injustice. Um, immigration or migration status. So these are different areas, um, subtopics I call them, or areas of specialization that students can choose, like what is the issue they want to talk about or the current event that they want to talk about. And then you're just teaching as the teacher, you would just be teaching kind of the 
you know, ideas of music and the content standards in that regard. Um, so criticality, so like uh, songs as justice, we might look at freedom songs. We might look at um, historical and current day um, activist movements. Uh, and we'll, we'll kind of like, I think all of these pieces, these pieces of identity um, are also connected, right, to, to criticality. So identity through the lens of criticality, but also through the lens of joy. So um, various types of music, um, identities of artists, uh, freedom songs in the sense of, you know, joy through justice. Awesome. So then I might not have time to do all of these pieces, but I would also think about like, okay, so what's the hook? The hook could be this lesson specifically where we kind of throw up the um, headline and we invite students to play um, some music around that. But I would say um, that's, that's a pretty intense hook. If it happens that a huge current event is happening right at the start of your unit, go for it. Otherwise, I would say that just like a how are you today is kind of like, you know, or like um, what does x emotion sound like right so inviting students to look at like a emotion wheel or something and then be like okay everyone play anger and then they use whatever instrument or you know soundscape that they're creating they create these i think Jeanette calls them soundscapes of a certain emotion then when we build the base we're probably doing and i'm not a music teacher here so we're probably doing some things about maybe some different instruments um some difference um like uh oh wow I don't, music teachers are going to be so mad at me right now. But like the um, cadence of the, you know, like two, four, 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 you know, I don't know what those are, things are called. But like um, how like the pace or the cadence of a song, um, the like loud or quietness of a song is going to impact mood, right? We're talking about all these kind of like musical things. Um, and then case studies, we might look at like songs and we might unpack like the different things we talked about here um the elements so we might actually look at popular songs and connect or name what emotions are present what emotions we feel um as we listen to the song right we're gonna give it a lot of project work time um, and we might have specific text or resources or songs that we want to use with them but i think this would be a fantastic unit whether you supervise music teachers or not, I think this process is really helpful for any content area. So go ahead, use it, grab the resource, let me know how it goes. And if you have questions, please feel free to reach out and ask. And whatever you create or your teachers create, please send them my way. I love showcasing teacher work.